This is the last airworthy military version of the Gloucester Meteor on its final flight. The significance of this moment wasn't lost on aviation enthusiasts who travelled to Bruntingthorpe Airfield in Leicestershire to enjoy its last moments in the sky. The Meteor holds a special place in aviation history. It was the first aircraft to be powered by jet engines invented by RAF officer Sir Frank Whittle, and it was the only Allied jet to see combat in the Second World War. The first RAF squadron to be equipped with Meteors was number 616. After a flight over the airfield, it was time to land. Flight went very well, there were no problems at all with the aeroplane, very smooth. But to be fair to her, every time I fly her, she's, she's lovely, lovely aeroplane. It's a bit bittersweet, really, because obviously it is the final flight, which is a real shame. It's a nice thing to do, but it's a shame to bring the aircraft in for its last flight. The Meteor will now join the classic British Jets collection at Bruntingthorpe. Although it won't fly, it will be kept in ground-running condition, meaning it'll be able to taxi down the runway. Very important to come to Brunswick, it's a good place to keep a heritage aircraft if you like, there's a lot of expertise and uh, engineering skills based here, so it's a good place for it to be looked after. Also, from the heritage point of view, Sir Frank Whittle's ashes were actually flown in this aircraft back to where he's interred at RF Cranwell. Meteor Type F8 came from Tangmere. Meteor sites like this have long event. gone, and now, 75 years after the Meteor entered service, the last has touched down for good.